Okay, guys, welcome back with me, Jojo 2025, and another tips and trick. This time, I want to show you how to merge data, you know, without opening it using a uh, command prompt. Uh, the limited is it only uh, for text file or maybe CSV file, you know, this text. If you can open it on Notepad, you can basically merge them, okay? and you might need it if you got your uh, data from other department that they only have like only basis data and you need to like make a uh, year data or you need to make a recap for two three years maybe and you know the example is only so easy like six or five kilobyte data it, it's really easy to do that but it's a process it, you know it doesn't doesn't really increase uh doesn't really need processing power because it's done really fast so you don't need to open it one by one in excel you know you can merge them using comment prompt and it's really fast i i'll try that with like 200 megabytes data for like 34 months data and you know it's i make like two gigs data and it's fast you know and then i open it on power foot or you know power query because a power query could do it you know merge it one by one but everyone has his own way and this is the example i'll show you the data you know like i have source id here and beat and source price and quality they have the same format for every data that's the uh, important thing of course uh, they have like title but you could always remove them later in excels this they have like uh, also for March. It's also ID item ID source price quantity. Okay. So how we do that? First, you need to call uh CMD from the run menu. You could always uh, do it on the start menu. They call it CMD. After that. It will show up like this what you need to do you could uh, manually write this single file but if they are in one folder like this you could also cut them and put them in one folder and then you know move them uh, later so what you need to do is to copy this uh here the press and then press cd for change directory and uh right click the windows to reach there okay it's still c because you're in c directory so press d okay this usually start with d because we are in change directory where we reach here what you need to do is simply write copy r dot star it means you've got to copy all the files you know and then you're gonna put it in where you know you could write every single file but you know just name the file merge csv and process really fast you know even for larger data and then the data suddenly is merge okay, we have like this is january april I have this thing, but you could always remove them later. Or in Power Query, you could always sort them and take like five or six, whatever. Anyway, you could do that. You know, it's a very fast process, and you could do it very fast. The XD, you know, uh, usually if you like have a report, you you get that you know from system easily like show you in txt and you know if you if you free that you are gonna uh fail to retrieve the data or it takes too long so you take it uh like monthly basis or this is capable on the like like an office for monthly basis this is really helpful and yeah that's it <laughs> i know a little of my work trick which I'm not, I'm doing this a lot, you know. I usually have like a lot of data, uh, and 
I usually take like monthly passes. I just take every single month and then merge them. So I don't need to like, pull the data uh, on all month, every single month. Only the closing data and then merge them. Closing data and merge them. And then when I think I have like a uh, lot of data to process, I much like like two months or two years data i because i have every single month so i just put uh, two years in my uh folder and then merge it you know if that's it for today's trip it's not it's not on script so i talk randomly anyway thank you for watching hope it helps you and have a nice day